Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Let's discuss another amazing puzzle from series Logic Builder for Cat. This question says that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, all of these are nine distinct single digit number that we can take values from zero to nine, such that the summation is like this. So we need to find which one of the 10 digits is absent. Now, if we start uh, solving this puzzle, what we can say that is starting with A, A is a single digit number, A could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but here we are getting E, F, two digits. What does that mean? There must be some carried forward from previous sum, then only we are getting two digit result here, right? Now, what could be the carried forward? Is it one? Is it two? Is it more than that? Think about this. B is also a single digit number. Even if I take B is equal to 9 plus 9 or 8 plus 8 or 7 plus 7 and so on, the maximum carried forward will be equal to 1. And if I add 1 to this, it should result in a two digit number. So can I say that the value of A must be 9 and 9 plus 1 will become 10. That means E must be equal to 1 and F must be equal to 0. Now we know that there is a carried forward from previous sum b, the value of b such that b plus b must be greater than equal to 10, right? Can we say that b must be at least 5? Now if I am taking b is equal to 5, what will happen here? That uh, there could be one carried forward from previous sum that is c plus c or there is not a carried forward. In both the scenarios, if there is no carried forward, 5 plus 5 will be equal to 0. 10, we can take 0, 1 carried forward, but 0 is not possible because f is already 0, so g cannot be equal to 0. Similarly, if there is 1 carried forward from previous sum, 5 plus 5 plus 1 will become 11. We will have to take g is equal to 1. That is also not possible because e is equal to 1 is already there. So what we need to understand is uh, b, we must take 6. So if I am taking b is equal to 6, let's say what possibilities are there. A, 9, B, 6, 6, then C, D, C, D. Adding these two numbers, we should get 1, 0. Now, what could be this digit? 6 plus 6 is 12, right? So, this can be 2. Or, if there is 1 carried forward, this digit could be 3 as well. So, in that case, we will have to take two different possibilities, which is 1, 0, this could be either 2 or this could be 3. If this is 3, there is one carried forward from previous sum. Now, if we work on this sum, there is no carried forward, means C plus C must be less than 10, right? So, what values we can consider for C? Can we take C is equal to 1? No, we cannot take it as 2, we cannot take it as 3, but there is one more thing that here also, there could be one carried forward, right? If I take this, we cannot take this 0, 1 or 2, but we can consider taking this 3. And if this is 3, there must be one carried forward because 3 plus 3 only will become 6. But if there is one carried forward, 3 plus 3 will become 7, adding this carried forward 1. Now, what could be the values here so that there is one carried forward? It must be greater than or equal to 5. The value of D must be greater than or equal to 5. If I take D is equal to 5, 5 plus 5, 10, it will be 0, which is not possible. 6 plus 6 is 12, which is 2 is taken. 7 plus 7, 7 is already there. 8 plus 8, 16, 6 is already there. 9 is already there. So we cannot take 3 here. Now if I take 4 here, what will happen? 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Or if there is a carried forward, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 plus 1 will become 9. So, there is no carried forward. So, we take 4 and 4. This must be 8. If this is 8, that means there is no carried forward from previous sum, that is d plus d. What could be the value of d? It cannot be 0, it cannot be 1, it cannot be 2, it cannot be 3, because 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6. Can it be 4? No, it's not possible. We cannot take 5, because 5 plus 5 will become 10, and then there will be 1 carried forward. So, we cannot take 4 here as well. Can we take 5 here? No, because there is no carried forward. 5 plus 5 will become 10. So, that is not possible. 
So in case of 9, 6, if this result is 12, 9, 6 plus 6, there is no carried forward. This case is not valid. Let's consider this case when there is one carried forward. That means C must be greater than or equal to 5. If I am taking C 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. That is not possible. 0 is not possible. 5 plus 5, 1 carried forward is 11. That is also not possible. We cannot take 6 because 6 is already there. Can I take 7? 7 plus 7 is 14 or 7 plus 7 plus 1 carried forward 15. We will have to check both the cases. 7 plus 7, 14 and <coughs> 1 carried forward here. What should be this value? We cannot take this as 0 or 1 or 2 because 2 plus 2 is 4. We cannot take 3. 3 is already taken. We cannot take 4. That means there must be 1 carried forward if, if this case is valid and this must be 5. Again, if this is 5, this value must be greater than or equal to 5 because there is one carried forward. Let's check it. If this value is 5, then 5 is already here, not possible. 6 is already here, not possible. 7 is already here, not possible. If I take this 8, 8 plus 8, 16. Again, 6 is already here, not possible. We cannot take 9 because 9 is already here. So 7, we cannot take here. Can we take 8? Let's take 8 here. If I am taking 8, then 8 plus 8, 16 is not possible because digit 6 is already used. That means there must be one carried forward. 8 plus 8 plus 1, 17. <coughs> then this value, D, must be greater than or equal to 5. If I am taking 5 plus 5, 0. 10, which we will take 0, not possible. 6 is not possible. 7 is not possible. 8 is not possible. So 8 is not possible here. So can I say this case is also discarded? Digit B cannot be equal to 6. We need to work on 7. Now, if we need to work on 7, means when B is equal to 7, what will happen? So, 9, 7, 7, C, D, 1, 0. Again, 7 plus 7 could be 14 or if there is one carried forward, it could be 15. So let's take both the cases once when this is 14, no carried forward, 9, 7, 7, <coughs> 9, 7, C, D, plus 7, C, D, 1, 0, 1 carried forward, so this is 5. Now let's start considering this. There is no carried forward, that means C must be less than or equal to 4. We cannot take 0, we cannot take 1. We cannot take 4 as well, we can take either 2 or 3. Now if I am taking two twos here, what will happen? If there is no carried forward, it will become 4 here, which is not possible because 4 is already here. That means there must be one carried forward and we take this as 5. If this is 5, what should be this value of D? Must be greater than or equal to 5 because there is one carried forward. 5 is 5 cannot be taken. 6 plus 6, 12. 2 will come here, which is not possible. 7 is already here. If I take 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, right? That we can take 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 and 1 carried forward. So this is a valid combination. So we can take 2 here, right? We can take 2 here. So 9, 7, 2, 8 is a possible combination. Now next we will have to check 9, 7, 3, 7, 3. D is missing still 1, 0, 4. Now in this case, once again, <coughs> If there is no carried forward, this will be 6. If there is a carried forward, then 3 plus 3 plus 1 will become 7, which is not possible. That means there is no carried forward from here. Now, what values we can take here if there is no carried forward? We can take values less than or equal to 4 for D. 0 is not possible, 1 is not possible, 2 is not possible, 2 plus 2 will become 4. 3 is not possible, 3 is already here. So, this case is not valid. Now, can we take 4 here? Let's see. If we take 4 here. 4 is not possible here because we have already used 4 here. So this case is not valid. Now let's come to this case where there is a 1 carried forward here because this digit is a 5. So this digit must be greater than or equal to 6 because 5 is already here. Now if I am taking these two digits as 6, now there could be 1 carried forward or there cannot be 1 carried forward. Taking, there is no carried forward. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 carried forward, this value must be less than or equal to 4. What will happen? 0 is not possible, 1 is not possible, 2 is not possible, 
3 plus 3 will become 6, not possible. We can take 4. If I take 4, 4, this will become 8, right? So this is also another valid combination. And then comes next one, where we are going to take 9, 7, 7, and this is 8 after, because there is one carried forward, right? So 8 dash dash. If I add this 1, 0, this will be 5. Now, if I am taking these two digits as 8, then 8 plus 8 is 16. If I take 1 carried forward, it will become 17. But 7 is already here, so we cannot take carried forward here. That must be, there is no carried forward, this is 6. And in that case, these two sum must be less than 10. In that case, this value, D, must be less than equal to 4. 0, 1 is not possible. Can I take 2? 2 plus 2, 4, possible, right? 2 plus 2, 4 is possible. Can I take 3? 3 plus 3 is 6, not possible. 4 plus 4 is 8, not possible, right? So this possible combination we got <coughs> here. And uh, 8 we have already taken, 9 is not possible. That means with uh, B is equal to 7, we have considered all the cases. Now, let's come to 8. If I am taking... 9, 8, C, D plus 8, C, D. This will become 1, 0. Now the carried forward could be there or there is no, no carried forward. So 9, 8, like this. 1, 0, this will be 7 if there is one carried forward. Again, we are going to work in the same way. This digit must be less than or equal to 4. 0 is not possible, 1 is not possible. 2 is possible or not? Let's see. If I am taking this 2, there could be 1 carried forward or there could not be carried forward because this value is 6 already, we know that. If there is no carried forward, then this value will become 4. Now, what could be this value? What could be this value so that uh, there is no carried forward? Can I take 0? No. 2? No. 1? Not possible. 3? 3 plus 3 is 6? Not possible. 4 is already there. Not possible. That means we need to check next case where there is one carried forward. If there is one carried forward, 2 plus 2 plus 1 will become 5. And what values we can take here? It must be greater than or equal to 6 because 5 is already here. 6 is already here. We cannot take that. We must take 7 because 8 and 9 already here. 7 plus 7 is 14. One carried forward. So 15. 2 plus 2, 5. 16. Yes, it works. So this is the fourth case, right? Then we will have to check 9, 8, 3, plus 8, 3, and this. Now if I add this, 9, uh, this will be 1, 0, right? 1, 0, 8 plus 8, 16, no carried forward. Now if this is 3, no carried forward, what will be this value? It cannot be 6. It can be 7 if there is 1 carried forward. Let's take this 7. What could be this value? Greater than or equal to 5. 5 plus 5, not possible. 6 plus 6, 7, 8, 9. All of these are here, not possible. We cannot take C is equal to 3. Can we take 4? If I take this 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, which is not possible. 4 plus 4, if 1 carried forward, then it will become 9. That is also not possible. So this case is ultimately not possible, where there is no carried forward. There is only one case possible, which is this one. Now in this case, where there is a carried forward, this value of C must be greater than or equal to 5. If I am taking 5, again the same case, 5 plus 5, 10, it will come 0. Or if there is one carried forward, 5 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. That is not possible. If we take 6, what will happen? If we take this 6, 6 plus 6 is 12 or 13. So let, let's take this 2. If this is 2, that means so there is no carried forward. We cannot take 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. So that means uh, we need to consider the case where there is carried forward. If there is carried forward, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13. This value we can cannot consider 5 or 6 or 7 or 8. So that is also not valid. We cannot take 7 or 8 or 9 because these digits are already here. So there are four cases possible. This one, 9827 plus 827 is 10654 or this case, 9764 plus 764, which is 10528. 9728 plus 728, which is equal to 10456. Or 
this case 9782 plus 782 which is equal to 10564. In all of these four cases, you can see the digit 3 is absent. Now it was an easy question when question was which one of the digit 10 digits is absent. So 3 is absent in all the four possibilities. Now if you got only one case somehow hit and trial, still your answer is correct, right? But think about this. This question was not that easy, right? We had to consider all the cases because it could have been possible that uh, some other digit is also missing in some cases. But apart from that, if question was something like what different values B can take, what different values C can take, what different values D can take, right? Or what is the difference between maximum value of D and the minimum value of D? Then you will have to solve all the four cases. Only one case will not solve your question, right? So that's, that's the meaning of this question. And I hope you understood uh, this problem thoroughly. And uh, you got to know that there is more than uh, one case is possible. And this is what you need to uh, do in, in, in LRDI sets where there are multiple cases possible. You cannot just take one case and decide, decide that uh, which answer is correct, right? So, thank you.